Hey, Richard here. In this video, I'm going to show you the greased shoot technique for a morning ritual you can ease into every morning that fires you out the other end in a great mood with lots of energy to have a productive, fulfilling day. Uh, you can use it to have more productive days more consistently, and it works even if you don't think you're a morning person. Without a morning ritual that's set in stone exactly the same every day, it's almost impossible to make sure you're in a great mood every day, ready to get things done and uh, actually enjoy getting things done. Little problems can throw your morning off easily. Maybe you forgot to take out the trash the night before and, uh, or you forgot to put the clothes in the dryer so you're, scram so you're scrambling to get chores done before you head out. This isn't a good way to wake up. It's a recipe for stress that will carry into the rest of the day. So what can you do to make sure your morning routine always goes off without a hitch? First of all, you need to prepare for your morning routine from the night before. Uh, this is a simple piece of advice that always works surprisingly well when you actually do it. Uh, in 1918, Charles Schwab hired a workplace productivity expert named Ivy Lee to coach his ex executives on how to get more done. Uh, Lee asked Schwab for 15 minutes with each of his executives and told him he didn't have to pay for the services right away. He had to pay later on and only as much as he thought his, uh, the advice was worth to him. Schwab ended up paying Lee $25,000 for his 15 minutes of advice, which is equivalent to almost half a million dollars in today's money. So what was the advice? It was simply to write six things down that had to be done the night before, prioritize them in order of importance, and to focus only on the first one when they started work in the morning. When the first was done, they were to move on to the second. Leftover tasks were to be put back into the list of six things for the next day. That advice was worth almost half a million dollars of today's dollars to Charles Schwab. When it comes to productivity, or most things in business, it's usually the simplest advice applying the correct principles that make success. The trick is just to find the simple principles that work best with our own psychology. And the principle of focusing on one thing at a time is one of the most important when it comes to productivity. But I'm getting a little bit off track here. So the first thing is to prepare the morning, prepare tasks from the night before, uh, knowing what you're going to do the night before gives your mind time to chew on the problem overnight. Along with preparing tasks, remove any potential distractions that could come up in the morning like uh, taking out the trash or cleaning the dishes as I said. Uh, you don't want to do anything in the morning that doesn't contribute to your energy for the day. The second thing you can do to make sure your morning goes off without a hitch is to use the grease chute technique. Uh, this is a process of connecting one thing to the next in the morning so that each action you're supposed to take directly leads into the next one. So say you plan a morning ritual that includes getting out of bed, turning off your alarm, drinking water first thing, going out for a run, then making cereal. It's easy to get distracted or even forget some of the things you're supposed to do in the morning. You're tired after all and the routine might be new to you, it's not a habit yet. So what you do is link all the activities together. First, you set your alarm in another room, so you have to be walking to turn it off. Beside your alarm, put a bottle of water, so that when you turn your alarm off, you remember to drink it. Also have your shoes and running clothes beside your alarm clock, so you can put them on right away. Before you head out the door, you can make it a habit to put your cereal and your bowl on the counter ready for you when you get back. And when you come back in from your run, prepare your cereal and eat. Do you see how this can work to remove friction in the morning to get you ready for the day without having to do any debating or thinking? Your alarm clock becomes a trigger, not just for getting up, but for an entire routine that will works to fill you with energy. If you create a good routine that feels good, something you can look forward to every morning, you start to look forward to getting up, you don't feel groggy anymore in the morning, uh, it's easy to get into the routine when you wake up, and it uh, shoots you out the other end with momentum and energy for the rest of the day. And if you want a complete guide to creating uh, this kind of morning ritual, that's right for you because it usually doesn't uh, work if you steal somebody else's. I've prepared a concise guide to planning your morning ritual and uh, turning it into an effortless habit you can perform every day. Uh, you can download it at the link in the description if you like. So I hope you got a lot out of this video. And uh, if you did, remember to hit thumbs up and subscribe for more. And uh, also leave a comment with your thoughts. I read all the messages on here. Uh, you can also check out my other full habit forming guides at the next link in the description. It's a little further down. And uh, that's it for now. Take care and uh, talk to you soon.